In this video, I'm doing a bit of gaming in a minute with an old retro game here, Quake 2, which I used to own back in 1997, but I never got on with it that well at the time. I think I was more of a fan of Quake 1. I think looking back at it now, my computer hardware wasn't really up to spec for playing Quake 2. I always found it a very slow game to play. It took a long time to change weapons, by which time I was normally dead. Yes, great, that was fun, wasn't it? But now I'm playing it here using the Yamagai engine on a computer that's all more than capable of playing the game. I seem to be doing reasonably well. Now, if you're looking for a way of acquiring the game and you're like me and used to own it through the CDOA long ago, there's a couple of ways you can do that. Now, I can't just put in the description below where you get the data from, but let's say if you are using Usenet. You could look on the basic NZB searcher website called nzb.cc, search for Quake 2 and you'll find rather a nice copy there, and that's what I'm playing here. Or if you're using Torrent, so you can find it pretty easily on that as well. Installation of the game isn't too difficult. I went onto the Amagai website, downloaded the Debian files, for use in Ubuntu 13.04. Yeah, they're not the most up to date, but it's easier than compiling it. Now, there was a handy script in there for automatically extracting the data files from the CD, in another location. If you were to do it manually, what you need to do is you need to copy all the data files across two user share games quick two folder. You can use the CD audio in an OGG format. You put that in the base Q2 slash music folder. Now I was fortunate that whoever put the package together for the one I downloaded, it already had the OG files on there. Just had to rename them to 020304etc.ogg, of course. I think there is multiplayer available, but I didn't try it. Yeah, I'm pretty rubbish at multiplayer games. I tend to just have my ass handed to me straight away. No matter how hard I try at flying through midair ridiculously fast, I will still get shot out of midair. It's really annoying. Why do stick to a single player where I can struggle along on my own? The frame rate might look a bit judgery in this video. Um, I limit the graphics card to 60 frames per second in the Nvidia X settings. I just find recordings come out better that way. The game capture is only at 30 frames per second at HD 1080. That's using GLC 64-bit because Yamagai is 64-bit as well. That was all rather handy to use on modern system. So it let me relive the retro years on this old game which I can now play a damn sight lot better than I could when I had it brand new. Thanks for watching, see you later.